Hey guys, it's Josh here, and in this video I'll show you how to perform the required maintenance on your Roborock robot vacuum. The model I have here is the S7, but for the most part, what I show here will be universal to most Roborock robot vacuums. I've set chapters in this video, so if you're looking for something specific, check the description and jump ahead. The main brush should be cleaned every two weeks and replaced every six to 12 months or after 300 hours of use. To clean or replace it, Turn your vacuum upside down and then press these two latches here to remove this panel. As you can see here, this panel gets a bit dirty so give that a good wipe with a damp cloth. Once this is clean, then lift out the main brush itself and here you can give it a good clean in between the fins. The brush does the hard work of agitating your carpet to loosen debris for the vacuum to then collect. Once you have cleaned the rubber brush, find the grey round end caps. These are removed by twisting them a little and they will come off. That lets you remove anything that might be tangled around the axle of the brush. Flip the brush over and remove the other end cap and bearing and clean that side too. You can see in this close up here the grey end cap has an arrow marking and that lines up with the lock or unlock printed on the axle. Once the main brush is clean and dry, give the housing a wipe over as well and then it's time to fit the brush back into place. See here how this end is square shaped. This lines up with the right hand side of the brush housing and it'll only go in one way. So fit that in and then grab your clean cover and find the four fins. They go to the top of the robot, slot them into place and then gently latch the cover back into place. The side brush should be cleaned every month and replaced every 3 to 6 months or 200 hours use. To clean this, use a Phillips head screwdriver and while holding the brush from spinning, unscrew the single screw holding it into place. Remove any tangles and clear any dust away and then fit it back into place. The filter inside the dustbin should be cleaned every two weeks and replaced after three to six months use or 150 hours. The dustbin itself should be emptied after every one or two cleaning runs. Remove the dustbin from your vacuum and empty the contents. Then remove the filter from the dustbin. Give the dustbin itself a good rinse out to clear any leftover debris. And then with the filter, run it under water and gently tap the edges of the filter to loosen any dust. Be sure not to touch the paper part of the filter and don't use any brushes or sharp objects to clean it with, only running water. Once clean, set the dustbin and filter aside to dry. You can give the dustbin housing a wipe with a damp cloth while the dustbin is out of the vacuum too. Once you are sure the dustbin and filter are dry, you can then install the filter back into the dustbin and then the dustbin back into your vacuum. The mop cloth should be cleaned after every mopping use. Remove the mop mount from your vacuum by pressing the two tabs either side of it and sliding it backwards. Remove the pad from the mop mount velcro. I try and keep the vibrating part here steady when I remove the pad. Once unfastened, slide off the pad and wash in a regular cloth wash cycle in your washing machine. Roborock recommends replacing the cloth every three to six months as the cleaning performance may be reduced over long periods of use. To install the mop cloth, slide it back into the groove and then press onto the velcro. Once a month, it's a good idea to clean out the water tank. Roborock recommends removing the tank and emptying its contents, filling it up with clean water and shaking it gently, and then pouring out the dirty water. You can then fill it back up ready for mopping use. This is an easy one. Flip the robot over and use a soft cloth to wipe and clean the main wheels once a month.
The omnidirectional wheel is the wheel at the front of the robot that freely rotates in any direction. Roborock recommends cleaning this as required, so take a look at your vacuum and see if it needs to clean. To clean the wheel, turn the robot upside down and use a small screwdriver or tool to pry out the axle and remove the wheel. Rinse the wheel and axle to remove any hair or dirt. Let it dry and then reattach the wheel, pressing it firmly into place. You will hear two clicks as either side of the axle fits into place. The sensors need to be wiped clean after 30 hours of use or monthly as they can get dusty. To clean these, use a soft cloth to wipe the dock sensor located at the front of the robot, the wall sensor on the side here, the carpet sensor here if your vacuum has one, and also these six cliff sensors. Also give the charging contacts a wipe and then on the dock, wipe the corresponding contacts too. Once you've cleaned the sensors, let the app know you have done so to reset the countdown. That just about covers the maintenance that's required as per the Roborock manual. By keeping on top of the required maintenance, you will increase the lifespan of your vacuum and ensure it is working at its peak performance. If you need to know anything further, leave a comment below and I can try and help you out. And thanks for watching.